All right, welcome my viewers. This is your teacher Pasco or Mr. Distinctions. If you're new to the channel, make sure you, you subscribe because on this channel we do not only learn biology, we learn all the composite subjects. We learn English language, biology, as you can see, also physics, chemistry, and also mathematics. So please make sure you subscribe, make sure you subscribe and you uh, actually keep on following us. So as you can see, uh, if you want to be on self site uh, with biology, I want you to understand these four topics uh, in, of course, biology. Yeah, I want you to revise these four topics in biology. If you want you to be on safe side with biology. So if you're writing the 2025 GCE, make sure you pay particular attention to these four topics which I'm going to give you. And make sure you revise them thoroughly. I'm going to give you these uh, topics so that we can revise them thoroughly. And I'll be making sure that on each topic, I tell you the subtopics which are involved, uh, which you need to revise because they do not ask questions uh, on uh, the entire topic, but you find that they just bring some subtopics. So those subtopics, which of course I know that are very important on each topics of these four to uh, topics, uh, that is what I want you to actually revise. All right, so what is the first topic? What is the first topic in biology which you need to revise as thorough as possible? Yeah, so the first topic is actually genetics. So the first topic is of course genetics. So genetics is, is an important topic to the extent that if you get any biology question paper, uh, of course paper two, you go on question number five, you go on question number five, you are going to find that uh, the question we are going to uh, uh, the question which is going to be there is under genetics. So I want you to revise this topic thoroughly, such that if you, you, even if they can ask any question about genetics, you can be able to answer. So now I want to give you uh, these subtopics under genetics, which you need to pay particular attention to, which you need to revise because I know that immediately you revise these subtopics, it is going to be very 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 very, very easy for you to under genetics. So, so the first uh, subtopic is variation. So if you go in okay, variation, <clears throat> if you go in biology paper one. If you go in biology paper one, you are going to find that most of the questions which they ask actually are under this subtopic, which is of course variation. So here, what you need to know, you need to know the definition of variation. You know the different uh, different types of variation, which of course the continuous one and the discontinuous one. And most importantly, you know the examples, some of the examples of continuous variation and some of the examples of what is discontinuous variation. I hope you are following. Yeah. So the second subtopic. The second subtopic, I want you to also understand blood group inheritance. Yeah, I want you to understand blood group inheritance. When talk of blood group inheritance, under this one, I want you to know that we have three what three genes which actually or three are you so to say which actually control blood group inheritance and what you need to know or what you need to understand and revise is to know how to write the genotypes uh, of blood group a genotypes of blood group b genotypes of what blood group o, or of which under this one under, under blood group a we have homozygous and heterozygous blood group a also under this one we have homozygous and heterozygous blood group a but under this one we have only homozygous blood group A. So, I mean blood group O. So, I know that maybe you are wondering or maybe you, don't, you do not know that. Wow, that is great. So, you are going to know this. The reason is simple. I have recorded a PAF video under blood group inheritance. So, just check in the comment box. You are going to find the video. I have explained to, uh, to the extent that immediately you watch that video, then it means you are going to eliminate this subtopic because you are going to understand everything. So that is the second uh, subtopic, which of course I want you to revise. I want you to revise. So now, what is the third subtopic under genetics? So the subtopic, I want you to know how to write genetic diagrams. Genetic diagrams. Yeah, I want you to understand how to write genetic diagrams because if you go in biology paper two, you're going to find that most of the questions actually actually involve writing a genetic diagram. So you need to know how to write the genetic diagram, how to arrange the alleles, how to actually cross the alleles, 
those are very very important so make sure you also value this one and of course even this one i've recorded a video so just go in the comment box you are going to understand that we explained well on how to go about this so this is the first topic and these are the subtopics which i want you to advise okay what is the second topic what is the second topic which is of course very important and coming in the exam is a must so the second topic is ecology as you may know so ecology is an important topic and most of the essay questions most of the essay questions they actually come from this topic which is of course ecology so now what uh, you need to revise under ecology for you to be on safe side you need to know the terms because these are the ones which they mostly ask actually uh, in the essay question part you need to know the terms involved in what in ecology yeah like uh, like uh, let's say for example uh, like Nick yeah such terms like uh, inhabitants those are very very simple terms but they usually ask them yeah, so you need to understand those terms. Yeah, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing, I want you to know how to write what here. Food chains and also food what here. Food webs. So I want you to know and understand how to write food chains and food webs. And I want you to know the difference between food chain and what also what team. Uh, yeah, the difference between food chains and also um, food webs. Yeah, you need to know there are about four differences. You need to master them because they usually ask them in the exam. So that is very, very important under ecology. And then besides that, besides that, I want you also to revise in case they bring uh, they bring uh, one nutrient cycle. I want you to understand nutrient cycles. Mostly, they actually asked about the uh, carbon cycle. And then, if they uh, they do not ask about the carbon cycle, they may be asked about nitrogen, what, nitrogen cycle. So make sure you revise these, these two uh, cycles. Or maybe let me just write them well. Yeah, but I'm sure you are getting what I'm saying. Carbon cycle and also nitrogen uh, cycle. So make sure you do that. Make sure you revise these nutrient cycles because they are very important. You know the, uh, the bacteria which are involved in uh, carbon cycle, in nitrogen cycle, and we know, you also know the processes which actually involve in carbon cycle and nitro nitrogen cycle. We're going to find that even in paper one, these questions are there. So make sure you do that and of which I've actually believed that you're going to do that. Okay, so now, talking about uh, Talking about excretion as our third topic. Excretion as our third topic. Yeah, so under excretion, under excretion, I hope you know that this topic is very important. Under excretion, I want you to revise the structure. I want you to revise the structure of the kidney. I want you to revise the structure of the kidney. You know the parts which are involved uh, actually uh, in the structure of the kidney. And also, uh, <clears throat> you also know uh, the function of different parts of what of the kidney. Yeah, I hope you understand that and hope you are following. So that is very important. You make sure you revise the structure of the kidney because you are, you are going to find that the structure of the kidney uh, is actually found both in paper one and in paper two. So it is very important that you understand, you revise, you understand the parts and the structure. Yeah, and also you understand the uh, the, 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 the functions of the dif uh, of different parts of what of the kidney. Yeah, besides that, under uh, the same excretion, I also want you to revise the structure of the skin. Yeah, I want you also to revise the structure of what of the skin. So these topics I'm giving you are very important, very, very important, such that if you just revise them, I'm telling you, you are going to be on safe side with biology. Yeah, so that is very important. Okay, let's talk about the fourth topic as our last topic. 
So the first topic which I want you to revise is of course homeostasis. 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 So this topic is very very important. This topic, just like ecology, most of uh, S questions actually come also from this topic. They bring a lot of S questions which are based on homeostasis. So under homeostasis, I want you to revise the types of homeostasis. You also revise, you revise the role of what of kidney, the role of kidney or the kidney in homeostasis okay and also i want you to revise the role of what of the skin the role of the skin in homeostasis so if you revise these three subtopics i'm telling you it is going to be very very easy for you to actually handle homeostasis yeah so i'm saying the role of the kidney in homeostasis and also the role of the skin in homeostasis. Yeah, so I'm very much sure that you're going to advise them. So these are the four important topics which you need to revise as thorough as possible because whether you like it or not, they're going to be there in your exam. So make sure you do that, make sure you revise them.